What's that? I'm gonna use this time to talk about how things have been since I got let go from Prime and Prime Incorporated and uh, talk about my experience being a county bus driver versus my time at Prime and which I like more and which I don't like as much. So there's no like cinematic effects in this or music or, you know, some intro. I apologize. This is just my story. So, um, get this background in here. This background of Sandy Annie, which is like the worst view. It's probably not that bad, but hold on, let me get the lighting right. All right, so um, I posted a video in March on my phone when I was in Memphis. And I actually posted a video when I was in Idaho on my Instax360 that I ended up not having anymore. That kind of got some views just for the video quality. And the other one, when I got fired, which I posted, got some views and comments of different people talking about Prime and, and trucking and stuff. So I figured I would um, kind of, if you're watching this and you did comment and say like, hey, hope you're doing all right or whatever, this is primarily for you and the people who commented. And it's primarily for people who, I'm just hashtagging Prime Inc and bus driving and truck drivers and so if you're in the CDL and you know what's up then this video is for you so Prime from my understanding a lot of people are leaving right now and there was a trainer who I used to watch his videos um, not Danny who's CDL uh, CDL yeah not him but a trainer, a TNT trainer, who ended up leaving Prime. And he had been with them for a while. And that was after I ended up getting terminated and some other people ended up leaving. Just for me, I'm just talking about YouTube videos and I'm not saying that they're correlated to me. I'm not saying that they're related or, you know, since I got terminated, they saw my video, then they left. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying in relation to, to creators. So, I heard, or I saw that one had left, and uh, the lighting on this is tricky, and heard about the cameras, them installing cameras now. I don't know if that was because of me or not, because my issue was I wasn't given a break when I had asked. I was like, gonna, I went to a truck stop. So I could at least like chill. And I wasn't planning on taking a shower or anything. Um, like I just wanted a 30 minute break. And my trainer, like he told me I could get like 15, 20 minutes. And he was not like happy about it. And that's when I ended up reporting it. And then when I talked to dispatch, he essentially flipped 180 and said the exact opposite to dispatch dispatch didn't believe me and he went she went with his side of the story and then i left you know i told him i was like what the fuck dude like why why are you saying this and i got off the truck and i went to a hotel in memphis you know and then i was gonna stay with them but i ended up getting let go so again that's my side of the story the trainer has his side of the story dispatch has their side of the story but um that's kind of what happened with me. I did I did PSD. I did part of TNT. I got up to like 15,000 miles. Um, I had two trainers. Both of them I left their trucks. And then when I left Prime, I flew back to California to stay at my mom's. And that's when I was applying for city bus driving positions. And I shouldn't be using Danny's name, even though he is on YouTube. I shouldn't technically be using his name. 
and I don't mean to I don't mean to like use it in any means that are negative or just in any means in general like I typically don't like to use people's name names in public but for what it's worth I texted him I said like hey I'm gonna be a city bus driver like told him my thoughts and he was like hey you know what I think that's a good idea I mean I could share the text response with it I don't know if I still have it but um he was cool like and my other friend who I roomed with at Prime he was he was more than like he thought it was a good idea and I think Danny kind of originally thought that bus driving was a better fit for me because in terms of the CDL stuff it's kind of like a lightweight version of truck driving so again not using his name or not meaning to use his name even though I am um, my PSD experience really wasn't that bad I thought it was good and I think that Danny should just have his own company and should be doing his own thing but that's just me and I told him that too so um, so I got back home I applied to I didn't apply to LA Metro but I did apply to a couple different transit authorities if you're watching this you probably already know which one I got with um, I tried to apply for unemployment, didn't get it. It was a shit show trying to do it. That's a whole other story. Um, I applied in March. I got an interview April 1st. So my last paycheck from Prime, which was... When I was doing PSD, I was getting paid 200 a week. When I was doing TNT... Like, without the hotels that I stayed in, that I had to stay in, I was getting paid maybe 700 750 a week. Um, and that's, like, their thing. You know, you, you get paid 900 a week, but it's pre-tax. So post-tax is, like, 700 750 Um NDA, I don't talk to anybody from Prime anymore. Pretty much, I don't talk to anybody right now. I do have some people's phone numbers, but I just haven't kept in touch. Um, and that's me. Like, If I was on Facebook, I'd probably still keep in touch with them. Uh, the Facebook group that I was like partially in, you know, whatever. Uh, so I had an interview with the Transit Transportation Authority in April. And then somebody, one of my friends, was telling me to go and drive for Greyhound which I could have done too, because they paid pretty well. Um, I got back, had the interview April 1st, and then I was hired. I got, I started May 1st. And if I had gone back in time, or like my choice, would I rather do Prime, or would I do CDLB bus driving for, a, for the county, for a for a city job, I would totally do the city job instead. Um, Prime, you don't get the benefits. And this is a really important stuff. If you're watching this and you're thinking about going to Prime, or if you're still there and you don't know, you don't get your benefits until after 90 days. That's the biggest thing. When you work for a county job, you get your benefits once you're freaking hired. You get everything. You get 401k, you get medical, you get dental, um, you know what, I'm sorry, the benefits don't start until after you're certified, but that's within two weeks. What's it, after two, two, three weeks after you take your exam and you pass. Um, again, I want to give wrong information, but our benefits started a month after, after we started. Primes doesn't start until 90 days after you start TNT. I think it's after you start TNT. So you have the two weeks of PST. And then it's 90 days after, uh, I just know it's 90 days, it's three months before your benefits kick in, as in your 401k, your medical, dental, vision, all that stuff. And then if you wanted to do 401k, I think you have to wait a year or something like that. I forget what it is. Um, don't quote me on it, but... Um, uh, the other thing is with Prime, they are very, like, 
mean, it matters who you kind of talk to, but for me, like, I think it's very false in the information that they say they give you $200 a week for meal for meals and for food and stuff. Because for me, I had to retake my permit test and I had to pay for it and I had to pay for my new license. So each week when I was doing all that shit to, to get my PSD stuff done, cause I changed, I was out of state. I had to take at least a hundred dollars from that paycheck to pay for that. So really only had like a hundred dollars worth of food each week, which wasn't enough. And I complained about it and the one girl, I won't say her name, but she was like, well, I'm not going to give you any more meal tickets. I'm sorry. I can't help you out. And then I talked to another person. He was like, oh, that's bullshit. Like, you know, you need to eat. And so, you know, they, the flatbed division ended up helping me out and they gave me more meal tickets. Um, and the only reason I barely survived was because one of my YouTube subs subscribers donated me money through DoorDash and Amazon gift cards to help me out. So that had me survive. Um, when you're on your, when you're on the road, it's a lot easier because you are getting paid. Like you're getting paid, you know, $700 a week, which is more than enough in my opinion. Um, so there's that. The bus driving isn't that hard. I think it's easier than truck driving. One of the students in my class just left because he didn't like having to be with passengers and the schedule and stuff. But he was also a truck driver before. So I think for him, he just, and another guy who left, I think it was the money. And I think that the truck driving with the CDL class A, they were making more money, which for me, makes sense because I do think you're going to make more money truck driving than you are going to be bus driving. That's just my personal opinion, especially if you're either OTR or you're doing like hazmat or tanker or something like that, you're probably going to be making more money. So, um, there's, there's that aspect of it, which prime would probably be a little bit better because then at least you can go into trucking more and you know, eventually leave the company after the year and then do your thing. Um, the, but the bus driving is like, my hours are set right now. Um, it is more strict, like way more strict in terms of everything. Like you gotta be on time to the minute. And if you're not, you're going to get fired. And that's a fact. Like if you're, not there if you're not on attendance within a minute of being to work and you don't if you do that three more times or if you do it three times in a row you get fired so there's there's that um you can quote me on that if you want because that's the truth uh but i mean you get your own runs eventually your own routes the i feel like with the authority there's less like with prime especially with being especially being new i feel like there's a lot more like not i feel like especially around the older people around tnt or people who had been there a year or two i feel like a lot more stigmatism being a new driver and with OCTA with the transportation authority with OCTA I didn't feel that as much I feel like the senior drivers were nicer to me it's smaller but that's just how I felt um, there's more I could get into but um, if you're trying to do the truck route or trying to do bus driving route I think if you want to make more money I'd probably do the truck driving if you're okay with it, and if you're okay with doing OTR, that's what I would do. If you want to be local and have a job that's like less taxing and driving wise is not as difficult because you're just in a bus and you like being around people and passengers and stuff like that, then being alone, 
then I would do bus driving. And it, it could be LA, it could be Memphis, it could be Nashville, wherever, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're gonna, like, I've already learned how to drive better just from, uh, just from, just from driving in general. So, like, for example, and I'm not gonna keep this that much longer, but for example, my right convex mirror, I turned down on the right side exterior so that I can see the curb when I make turns because you have to see the curb and your tire when you make the turn so that your tire doesn't hit the curb because otherwise you can't see it. It doesn't, doesn't really make sense when, you, when I'm saying it, but in practice, I didn't know that before. Even when I was at Prime, I wasn't doing that when I should have been. So. Um, those are my, those are my kind of thoughts on it. I'll post this video as a prime, you know, what I, you know, prime ink versus city bus job, which what I would do. And I'll kind of leave it from there. And again, I am talking on prime true. If you comment it and say, Hey, you know, you don't know shit. Prime is all this yada, yada, yada. You know, don't talk shit on prime. I get it. Totally understand. But it sounds like a lot of people are leaving. There's, too, there's not enough freight and there's too many drivers. People are leaving because of the camera thing. I would have stayed with the camera thing, but that's just me. I don't mind being recorded. Um, but if you're on YouTube right now and like priming and leaving, you know, videos pop up. So that's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my thing. Although that's anywhere, I mean, even, with my transportation authority, people are leaving, you know, like, people are leaving anywhere. You go, any job, people are leaving. So, uh, I don't really know if there's any place where people aren't leaving right now. Especially after COVID, people are just tired of the government and tired of the economy and a lot of people are doing their own thing and starting up their own owner operator stuff or you know starting up their own businesses so let me know in the comments what you think if you're from prime or have experience otr truck driving leave a comment uh i'll try to make more videos on it i might try to do a pre-trip if i can of a pre-trip inspection of a bus maybe i'd have to like rent a private bus <laughs> and do it that way but i think that'd be cool and uh, more like instructional videos would be cool. So thanks again for watching. Hope you guys are good. Peace.